so you want to properly organize your inventory and manage it more efficiently. Let's talk about how you can do that. First, let's look at some time-saving shortcuts. If you're a complete beginner or an old player returning, you still might be dragging and dropping all your items. Well, the faster way to do that is holding shift and clicking. But if you're moving a bunch of the same item, the fastest way to do that is holding an item, holding shift and then double clicking. By the way, it doesn't have to be the same item as a lot of people seem to think. You can not only shift click items from your inventory to a chest and vice versa, but you can also do that from your hotbar into your inventory, into furnaces, smithing tables and all other workstations, where sometimes only certain items will get moved like fuel into the bottom slot of a furnace. Then you can shift click stuff onto a crafting grid, but that works only for the crafting table and not in here. But you can move items in there from your hotbar using the hotbar keys. Speaking of crafting, you can get the maximum possible number of items if you shift click right here and it will be moved to your hotbar or inventory. Fun fact, when you shift click stuff it goes to the last available hotbar or inventory slot, but when you pick it up it's in the first slot. If you want to ready your inventory for a mining session and pick up only specific items, if you hold the desired item, hold right click and drag, you will spread them one by one. If you want to spread the items evenly, when crafting blocks for example, you can do that by holding left click and dragging. But if you mess up, you can then double click on that item and it will stack automatically. This also works in chests and your inventory. Or you can of course shift click on the crafting recipe. Also you can pick half a stack by right clicking on it and if you right click again, you'll get one of that item. Ok, now let's talk about hotbar keys. You can use them to move stuff from your hotbar anywhere and it also works the other way around. So when I hover over an item and press 1 it will go to that slot and if an item is already there it will swap. Well only if it's possible. If you try to do that with a crafting slot for example it won't work. Alright, the hot keys by default are set to numbers 1 to 9 plus F for the off hand. I would recommend changing some of those. The 6 and above keys are quite hard to reach and scrolling isn't that reliable, especially in tense situations. So I personally have 1 to 5 set to default, then I use X, C, Q and F for the last slot and for the offhand I use R instead. As you might have noticed I don't use Q as my drop key. Well that's because it's a bit too accessible and I've dropped stuff accidentally way too many times. So I use the G key instead and I haven't had any accidents since I changed it. So then if you have specific items assigned to specific keys you can get pretty good at hotkeying. For example I have my axe on 1, my pickaxe on 2 and so on. And it's really easy for me to get to an item I want without thinking or having to scroll. Ok now let's look at item dropping. If you're holding an item and press your drop key you will drop just one. If you hold it you'll drop a bit more. But to drop the whole stack you need to hold control and then press the drop key. Both of these also work inside your inventory and chests. But if you hold those keys and move your mouse around you will drop a bunch of stuff. Ok these have all been mainly for survival. Although they do work in creative but now let's look at stuff you can do only in creative. If you want to clean up your inventory you can just shift click this red square. You can duplicate items using your middle click. This also includes enchantments. Then if you hold middle click and drag you can fill your inventory up. Another function the middle click has is block picking. If you just look at a block and press the middle click you will get it. This also works in survival but only if you have that block in your inventory. But in creative you can even block pick an item with all its data. So for example a chest with items or a command block with its command. All you need to do is hold control and middle click on it. So now you know all the hotkeys and shortcuts to manage your inventory. But what should you carry in there as a survival player? Well first of all you should always wear armor. Then on your hotbar you should have the best pickaxe you have access to. If you prefer silk touch or fortune that's up to you, but I personally like silk touch because you can mine an ender chest without breaking it. And it's also nice if you're building with glass. Having a shovel on hand is also very useful. Then you should carry an axe which can be used as a weapon as well as a tool. So you can save an extra inventory slot which you would otherwise use for a sword. Speaking of weapons, having a ranged one is also very useful. If you use a bow or a crossbow you'll have to spare a slot for arrows. But instead you can use a trident if you want. Then you should of course have some food and if you play hardcore I would recommend having a couple golden apples or even notch apples. If you have an elytra rockets are a no brainer. 
Then I would recommend carrying a water bucket, it can be a lifesaver, especially in the early game. And finally the offhand. In the early game the shield is probably the best option. And later on a totem of undying, or some people like having food there. So that was the hot bar, but here's some other stuff you should carry. A chest plate so you can switch it with your elytra if you're going into a cave for example. And an ender chest where you can have a bunch more stuff, like a bed, a boat, a flint and steel and some obsidian, torches, extra food, extra rockets, a beacon, some wood, iron and a bunch of other tools. And that's about it, so thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you wanna get better at Minecraft and I'll see you next time, goodbye.